Come on, stand to your feet. Thank you so much. Amen. Today is a day that God has made. I don't know about you, but I just want to rejoice and be glad in Do you do you pray for one another? Do you pray for one another? Do you pray for other folk other than yourself? Well, it's happened again. It's happened again. I think this time it was in Dallas. Another mass shooting. Uh, what is this, May 7th? Yes. May 7th. Yes. Uh -huh. In this country, this year, 199 mass shootings. And the year's not half over with. It's almost to the point where you're almost afraid to leave your house. That's right. That's right. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know if you're going to make it back alive. Amen. That's why it is important <clears throat> not to leave home mad with one another. Right. Yeah. Because the old people used to say life is so short. Yeah. So I want you to take about 60 seconds, pray for every person that has lost their lives, every person that's been affected by mass killings, every person that's gone too soon. Young people won't get an opportunity to be an adult. Gone too soon. And then take a second to pray for mental health because it is real. Pray for those that are even in your family. That on this day they need to hear from God. Lord, I pray for the dysfunctionality of my own family. They need to hear from God. And then, Lord, strengthen me where I'm weak. Heal me up where I'm torn down. Thank you right now for being a bridge over troubled waters. Thank you for propping me up on every leading side. Lord, I thank you for paying some bills when I was broke. And you're just that kind of God. So with that being said, Lord, we pray for this country. When is it going to stop? When will the madness stop? God, we need you to do something. It's out of our hands, God. We need you to do something. The old people used to say, if there ever was a time we needed God, we sure do need it right now. The old people used to say, ride on, King Jesus. No man cannot hinder me. And then, Lord, I thank you for just allowing me to say good night and good morning. Everybody didn't get that opportunity, God, but you blessed me with a wake-up call. And for that reason, I say thank you. Thank you because my family is yet alive, God. Thank you because my children are yet alive. Just thank you for my children. My name say thank you for my children. In Jesus' name. Come on, bless God with your hands. I don't know why the Lord keeps on blessing me, even though.
there's a lot to be thankful for. Yes, yes. Sir. yes. Amen. Your brother, I find myself telling people a lot of times when they fret about birthdays and getting older. I find myself saying, don't fret about getting older. You've got some classmates saying, don't ever see your age. That's right. That's right. But we learn as we get older yes, sir. to take life one day at a time. Yes, sir. When you get older, yes, sir. Kevin, when you get older, you don't always assume that you're going to see tomorrow. Right. Baby boy, hands, anybody saw yourself? in the life of this boy? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. The baby boy had to grow up fast. Uh -huh. Anybody in here, you ever, I know when I was working in the school district, especially working on the elementary level, my heart would go out. Rochelle, when I would see a six-year-old first grader, with a dirty shoestring hanging around his neck All right. with the key to the house. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know what they're going to eat when they get home. Yes, sir. Mercy but that same little latchkey, dirty shoestring wearing kid would find a way to dress themselves and get to school because they knew there would be a meal waiting for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some of you sitting out here, I don't know who I'm talking to, but you had to grow up fast. Yeah. Right. You had to learn how to cook for yourself. Yeah, right. mercy Lord. And right. not only that, if you were the oldest sibling, you had to cook for little Junior and little Lily and little Mary. Yeah. Yeah. You had to grow up fast and yeah. hurt. And what helped you along the way? were the things you learn during the learned lessons you receive from the school of hard knocks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anybody here ever been beat up? Huh? Correct. You've been bullied? Yeah. Well, that should, that should be a testament to you that you don't turn around and bully somebody else. Right, right. Many of you learn from others, while many of you in here were self-taught. You had to teach yourself. Uh -huh. If you wanted to eat, you learned how to cook. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Let's just keep it 100. Sometimes mama was not there. Right. And you had to learn how to cook yes, and clean. Yeah. and take care of your younger siblings. Yes, Lord. And then there are some of you in here that you learned from experiences of being out there in the streets. Talk. Some of you all know about being out there all right. in the streets. Yes, sir. Yes. It's okay because most lessons that we learn, we learn them outside the home. Oh, yeah. Baby boy, uh -huh. he's gone through a lot. That's right. yeah. His story is like a well-rehearsed song. He lost all he had. Yeah. Jesus, not me, but Jesus called it righteous living. Uh -huh. Anybody been there? Oh, yeah. right. uh, they know who you are, <laughs> Town Crane Street. Yeah. <laughs> they know who you are in the neighborhood juke joints. Uh -huh. They know you not by name, they know you by face. All right. All right. Not only was his experience humbling, but it carried a sobering effect. He finds out the hard way that you simply cannot keep making withdrawals and no deposits. Right. He found out the hard way 
that these streets will chew you up and spit you out. Listen, listen. Anybody in here glad to be off the streets? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He learned some painful lessons. Yeah, yeah. And another painful lesson he learned was that nobody wants you. See. When you are down and out. Right, right. Come on, man. In a span, y'all gotta get this, in a span, Sharonda, in a span of two short verses, he goes from riches to rags. Yeah. You know when the avalanche starts coming downhill? Huh. It picks up momentum. That's right. In other words, sometimes when things go bad, they go bad fast. That's right. In other words, it goes downhill in a hurry. He's lost everything. I don't know if this is uh, pertaining to you, but somebody sitting here right now has lost a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody said it's better to have love than lost. That's right. Than never to have loved at all. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. He's lost everything. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. the target he has not lost his mind. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mercy. Look at your name and say, I just look like this. Yeah. <laughs> all right. He's fully aware. Shay, he's fully aware. While he's in this place called a far country, yeah. he's fully aware that he has to do something. Yes, sir. You ever look in the mirror at yourself and say, you know what? You got to do something with your life. Right. Yeah. Why does he come to the realization that he has to do something? Well, because there's a famine in the land. It's what the old people used to call hard times. Right. You know, when, they, when we left home, mm. hard times. Yes. Uh -huh. Nothing to eat, you're hungry. Right. Uh -huh. Nothing in the refrigerator. No. Don't have any money. No. Hard times. Hard times. Yes. Hard times. We had hard times in college. Mm. Oh, but if you had a can of pork and beans mm. uh -huh. right. and a hot plate, you, these young kids don't know what a hot plate is. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I know you know. <laughs> oh, but then you came up when you found somebody had some Vienna sausage to go in the food. That's right. That's right. That was a comment. This is what the old people used to call hard times. Yes, sir. You know, we ventured out on our own. Many of us experience that life can deal you a bad hand. Yes. I'm going to go on your street now. Come on, sir. Come on. You got dealt a bad hand. Mm. Uh-huh. It's hard to win when you ain't got no trumps. Mm. Uh-huh. Reality sets in when you look at your hand and you don't even see a possible. Y'all not talking to me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Tell it. Tell when it. baby boy left home, he left home with a good hand. Why? Because his daddy had given him a share of the inheritance. Right. But when reality sets in, y'all, he found out the hard way that life had a hand too. Right. Yes, sir. And let me tell you the hand that life had, Veronica. <laughs> life had both jokers, the ace, the king, <laughs> and the jack. It's a sad thing when expectations turn into disappointments. All right. All right, yes, sir. Hey, ain't your children ever disappointed you? Yeah. So, yeah. You ever disappointed you? Yeah. And it depends on the, 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 the degree of disappointment where you might simply ask that child, I don't know whose child you are. <laughs> I didn't raise you. You, you know the dream. But sometimes you have to let out the apron string. So they can enroll in the school of hard knocks themselves. Yes, sir. In the school of hard knocks. Have mercy, Lord. 
Some pass. Some fail. Mm -hmm. But one size don't fit all, baby. Right. We handle them streets differently. When a family hits the far country, when times get real hard, yes, after losing everything he had, he does not lose his mind and he realizes he has to do something. Right. You did know that sometimes the job just won't come and knock on your door. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. <laughs> it is worth noting, watch this, I like this though. Even though there's a famine in the land, He's lost all of his money. Uh -huh. Times are hard. Yes. You never hear anything about him robbing and trying to get a lick. Come on, right. Go ahead. He oh, does, y'all not saying anything. Go he ahead. does not allow his circumstances to become detrimental to his freedom. Yes, yes sir. Right. Yes, sir. You don't have to resort to robbing and stealing. We all have choices. Yeah. yeah. Yes. There's no homicide mentioned. He, but, but what he does, watch this, he, he, he finds a paper. Yeah. I want to call it the Far Country Chronicle. Uh -oh. And he goes to the one ass the employment section. Y'all ever looked in the employment section before yes. times got yeah. hard? Yeah. 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 He's looking for work. Yeah, man. Don't criticize the man because he's looking for work. He's seeking employment. Yeah. It may not be what you want. But it is what you need. That's right. And you've heard pastors say this before. Minimum is better than normal. Right. Anybody here ever work for minimum wage? Yeah. 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 Yes, Lord. Minimum not. Kept a, kept a nickel in the pocket. Uh -huh. All right. Life in this far country. It brought two shocking revelations. Right. His money ran out uh -huh. and his friends left him. Yep. Did y'all hear that? Talk, yeah. Talk. That's normally how it goes. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> you know, you, you have a party. Mm. You know what happens when all the liquor's gone? <laughs> Negro's gone. <laughs> Talk, sir. <laughs> a family comes. Uh -huh. There's nobody to help him. Can I ask you a question? Where are your friends at? Mm. See, y'all call them y'all friends, but they hate you because you got a nipple more than they got. Wow, mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Don't ever befriend folk that can't help you. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. We always clinging to folk that can bring us down. Yeah. If all your friends are broke, <laughs> you need to re-up. <laughs> Sisters, the Negro can't help you, then why are you with him? You can do bad by yourself. Say it. You getting up going to work and he when you get home, he got his feet on the table talking about what we eat. He been PlayStation and all day. <laughs> you know the friends that you helped when they were going through. Come on, Bridget. Now you need them. Okay, Ain't nowhere to be found. Have mercy, Lord. But this is what I discovered in verse fifteen. is that everybody is not going through bad times. Y'all gotta get this. I know it may be bad times at your house, uh -huh. but it's somebody doing good across the street. Yeah. I know you just lost your job, but somebody across the street just got hired. Uh -huh. I know the times are hard right now, but guess what? Yes, sir. Somebody yesterday just won the lottery. Yeah. Uh -huh. And verse 15, everybody 
is not broke. There's always somebody that's got a quarter more than you have. Yeah. Don't hate. Congratulate. Amen. Even though there's a famine in the land, yes, sir. somebody's doing all right. Yeah. All right. The Bible says that there was a famine in the land and he went and joined himself and hired himself under the umbrella of someone who appears that they were doing all right even though there's a famine in the land. That's Everybody right. not broke. Yes, right. right. Because if you read verse 15, it says that he, he sent him into his fields uh -huh. to feed swine. That's right. Even though there's a there's a famine in the land, someone still has land and swine, and guess what? They're hiring. That's right. The boy was relegated to do for a stranger uh -huh. that which he chose not to do for his own daddy. Right. We, Isn't it amazing? Yes, sir. How we'll give a stranger something before we give our own family. Oh. 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 Uh -oh. All of us, all of us got family members. Yes, sir. But you don't have to feel so bad. All right, now. Because you've given to them in the past. Right. Uh -huh. And if you keep on giving and keep on giving, Don't turn around. you're creating a perpetual crutch for yes, sir. your family. Yes, sir. He finds himself having to do that which he would not do for his own father. Yeah. Yes, sir. And that was go to work. Uh -huh. Parents, they can't lay up in your house 30 years old. No. Amen. Go ahead. No. Amen. Ain't doing nothing. Go ahead. Right. See, it's not mean of you to require them to help with a bill. That's right. That's right. Light bills and water bills and gas bills do not pay themselves. That's right. Oh, but you laying your behind up in my house. Uh oh. And then right. they got nerve and I get pissed off at you because you require them to do something. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you got a choice. Either you get with the program or you pet rocks. <laughs> Left and right. <laughs> he does for a stranger in a far country that which he would not do for his own father. He initially left, if you really remember, he left to find himself. But how many of you know freedom ain't always free? Just when you feel like it couldn't get any worse, huh. he has to do that which he despises the most. You ever had to do something you hated to do? Oh. God, I understand this boy was a Jew. All right. a Jewish family. Don't have nothing to do with swine. He finds himself not only having to feed them, but what he was feeding them he started looking at it twice. Uh -huh. When I was a kid growing up, you didn't tell mama I don't eat that. Mm -hmm. oh. You ate what was on the plate. And you didn't get up from the table until your plate was clean. We did not tell our parents. Don't eat that. 
the slop That's right. starts looking good. Come on. like a ribeye. Oh, yeah. no. The old corn husk. Oh, yeah. And I have learned something about hogs. Uh -huh. They'll eat anything. They'll eat anything. They'll eat you too. That's right. That's right. <laughs> God forbid. Life deals us a hand to where slop starts to be acceptable. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Touch your neighbor and say no more slop. No more slop. Jesus says this about this, this boy to illustrate that this boy was employed in the lowest and degrading of all occupations. Hands, you worked on a job and you just hated it. Anybody? I did not like washing dishes. I don't even wash dishes now. <coughs> wash too many when I was working. <laughs> you know, you know how it is. Some of us don't eat stuff now because we ate too much when we was growing up. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. And parents, a lot of times it's your fault when kids grow up and go go stupid. A lot of times it's your fault because you held the rain on them too tight. <laughs> when I was growing up, I wanted a BB gun. You know what it was the rule in the house? Ain't no guns in this house. I say, but mama, all the boys got BB guns. She said, yeah, all of them but you. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie, I said, Lord, when I get grown, <laughs> I probably got no guns in the academy got none. <laughs> and it's her fault. Empty. 
Make all kind of noises. Yeah. Sending out help me SOS. <laughs> and the only thing you want when it's like that is something to eat. It may not be prime rib. But pastor says all the time, oatmeal is better than no meal. Yeah. I can imagine him looking, I see him looking at this slop. It probably smells. And if anybody here ever slopped hogs, what you feeding that hog, you know what I don't know how this hog eating it. But I can almost for a fleeting moment. See him looking around to see if anybody's looking. This one? You know how we do. Have mercy, Lord. Uh -huh. yeah. Lady Anderson buys grapes. And they have done something over the years with grapes. All right. Because the grapes that she finds sometimes almost look like baby plums. <laughs> and they don't have seeds in them. So we are eating hybrid grapes. I don't even know if you can find grapes with seeds in them no more. And if you really just think about it, watermelon seeds are becoming scarce. Yeah, that's what I think. No doubt he wants to eat what he's feeding the hogs. But he knows that if he eats as a slave, that which he did not create and plant, it could result in his death. He could be beaten by the master. And one of the most horrible parts of a verse that I have found in the Bible when it says, no man All right, right. gave him anything. Yes. I got one question, I'm done. Where well, all them friends was in verse 15 that night. Right. You ever had to ask yourself, where are my friends at now? Nobody wants you when you're down and out. And some of your so-called friends sitting just waiting, watching you, want to see you fall. Yes, Lord. Got some family members think you got too much. And don't understand why you won't help them with their life bill. So, let's do this. If you are thankful that God has delivered you from a situation that almost took you out of here. I want you to stand on your feet. Situation almost took you out. You ever had a job and it just killed you when that alarm clock went off because you had to go to it. And you had to say to yourself, Lord, you got to do something. Because I can't take this no more. And you had to endure being talked about in the break room because you got children and you got bills and they need you. Right. Right. So you had to endure being talked about and really yes. yes. I don't know who I'm talking about now, but they don't shut up when you walked in the break room. Yes, no, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. But that was then. For those of you that are standing up, those of you that are standing up, turn your head and look at the back wall back there. Now slowly bring your head back this way. See how the Father Lord don't brought you. I just want to know.
some impolite to point with point at your name and say, no more slop. I'm done. I'm done with slop. I know God has something better for me. I'm done. I'm done with slop. You know what? Let me drop this in for free. all the way down. Yes, sir. I'm talking about all the way down. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. You ain't got but one other way to go. Just keep the faith. Yeah, yeah. I am done, y'all. 